Aloha and welcome to Upside Down Pilates. Today's lesson will focus on the pelvis. Lonnie, Malia, and Eileen, as well as Herman, our studio mascot, will be joining us. So let's begin. Let's start by visualizing our breath again as we did last lesson. Uh, ladies, go ahead and lie down onto your backs. Bring your arms down by your sides. You can allow your legs to go long if you like, or if you want to keep them bent, feel free to do that. And go ahead, close your eyes again. And just take a moment and notice how you're feeling today. And let's go ahead and notice here what your breath is doing. And we're going to do an exercise to challenge our breath. So let's inhale through our nose for one count, and then we're gonna go ahead and exhale through our mouth for two counts. Thinking of our diaphragm moving, thinking of our transversus abdominis connecting, and breathing through the lower lateral lobes of the lungs as we go. So here we go, inhale through the nose, one, exhale, one, two. And now let's go for two and out for three. Inhale, one, two. Exhale, one, two, three. And now for three. Inhale, one, two, three. Exhale, one, two, three, four. And now in for four, three, two, one. And out, one, two, three, four, five. And last set, inhale, one, two, three, four, all the way to five, exhale, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Good, and go ahead and rest. Let's bring your knees up, bend your knees, and again, your heels are gonna be sits bone distance apart. So just remembering, let's take a quick look at Herman here. Our sits bones are right here at the base of our pelvis. So we're gonna bend our knees and line our calcaneus bone up with our sits bones. So we don't want our legs to be too wide. Eileen, show us what happens when we open our legs out like too wide. Yes, we don't want them to be too wide. You're gonna try and pull them in and draw them right underneath your sits bones, which will line them right up with your hip socket, okay? And now let's just go ahead and begin rocking your pelvis back and forth. So you're gonna reach your belly button in and pull your low back to the ground. And then you're gonna take, and almost like you're sticking your tush out, you're gonna arch your lower back as much as you can. And let's go again. Reach your low back to the ground. And arch your back as much as you can. And again, reach it to the ground and arch it as much as you can. Good ladies, now go ahead, go at your own timing, go a little faster. And as you're going, start to notice what happens in your neck and in your shoulders. Your head, your neck and your shoulders should be responding to what's going on in your pelvis. Make sure that your upper middle back is wide and released as you're going. And keep going, ladies, as I talk. So as you can see, our pelvis is connected through our spine all the way up into our head. And as we're rocking our pelvis back and, back and forth or moving our pelvis, all of that energy is going through our spine and it'll allow our head to follow through with it. And when we don't have that happen, there's somewhere in between here that's locked or stuck. So you may need to think of releasing in your back a little bit to get it to go. Good. And now we're gonna continue and begin to roll our hips up to the ceiling. So take a big breath. Exhale, reach your low back down, squeeze your bum, and start to peel your spine off from the ground. Feel your knees reach out long, your neck and shoulders soften. Nice deep breath, and start from the top and roll down. Try and get right up where your bra strap is to touch down, and you can pull your hips away from your shoulders, 
bringing your pelvis back to where you started. And again, inhale and breathe out. Curl the pelvis under, hollowing your navel down and in. Squeeze the glutes and hamstrings, reaching the knees long. Inhale and exhale, roll back down. Good, and just one more time. Deep breath in and exhale, connecting through your breath, hollowing the navel, squeeze the glutes and hamstrings. Inhale, long through your spine, and exhale, soften, pulling each of your vertebrae apart as you roll down. Good, excellent work, ladies, and rest. Let's go ahead and take a look at the anatomy of the pelvis now. Come up to sitting, ladies. So this down here is considered our pelvis, or our pelvic bowl, okay? And um, the bones in our pelvis are oddly shaped, but very, very useful in shock absorption. So this is called the ilium, this bone here, or this section of the bone here. And this is the ischium. And this is the pubis. And right here is where the pubic symphysis is, okay? And like I mentioned earlier, um, these are our sitz bones, S-I-T-Z, after Mr. Sitz. Um, and those are the bones that you can actually feel when you're sitting up, okay? And in between our pubic bone and our sitz bones is a triangle. Um, and that triangle, we're trying to get flat and parallel to the floor as much as possible when we're sitting in our neutral pelvis, which we're going to learn about today. Um, in between this triangle is a web of musculature, and in that web of musculature, it's, that's the pelvic floor that's so well known. Uh, right here is the acetabulum, and this is where the femur bone sits, and this is your hip socket, okay? So it's called your acetabulum, and it's stuck right in there. Let's see. So when we're looking for a neutral pelvis, where in our work we're trying to bring our body into as much neutral as we can, uh, one of the ways to find it is by lining this bony protrusion up with this bony protrusion flat. So these are the anterior superior iliac spines. Those are their fancy names. And then this is the pubic symphysis. All right, and when you line these up flat across the top, hopefully your lumbar spine, your thoracic spine, and your cervical spine are going to have their natural curves in them, okay? Another way to um, look at this is sideways. And roughly, the anterior superior iliac spine and the posterior uh, superior iliac spine will line up. Okay, let's move your arm here, Herman. And that's a, uh, one way to find it sideways, so that they'll be lined up. And that's what we're gonna refer to as neutral pelvis, okay? So let's go ahead and have a little image for our neutral pelvis. All right, ladies, go ahead and lie down onto your backs and let's go hook lying with your knees bent, heels sits bone distance apart. And now take a moment and bring your hands right onto your navel. Good, a little bit lower. And our goal is to get those hip bones, the ASIS, and the pubic symphysis in a flat plane across the top. And as you do this, your lower back will be engaged and your belly will be engaged nice and tight, okay? And that is what we're gonna call our neutral pelvis. That's the most shock absorbing position for your pelvis to be in when you're moving throughout your day. Go ahead, put your hands down by your sides now, ladies, and let's imagine that we have actually a clock on our pelvis, okay? So the clock is gonna lay flat across the top here, okay? And the 12 o'clock is gonna be up by your rib cage, and your six o'clock is gonna be down by your pubic bone. The nine o'clock will be on your right hip bone or anterior superior iliac spine, whichever you choose to call it, and on your left hip bone, okay? And now let's put a marble right in the middle of our clock.
reach in your 12 o'clock. So now your lower back will start reaching towards the ground. It doesn't necessarily have to touch. The most important thing is that your belly button hollows in. And now roll your marble all the way to six o'clock and arch your back. Good, and now exhale, roll your marble all the way to 12 o'clock. Feel your navel go hollow down, allow your back to widen. And inhale, roll your marble all the way to six o'clock and arch your back. And again, exhale, roll it to 12. And inhale, roll it to six. And one more time, exhale, roll it to 12. And now roll back into neutral, where your two hip bones and your pubic bone are flat across the top. Your lower back has its natural lordotic curve. And remember, this is what we're going to call neutral pelvis. And rest. And let's go ahead and move on with our clock image. So remember, the 12 o'clock is up by your rib cage, 6 o'clock down by your pubic bone, 9 o'clock on your right hip, 3 o'clock on your left hip. And now we're going to roll our marble right and left from the 9 to the 3. As we're doing this, we're trying just to move the pelvis, and you will feel some motion inside of the acetabulum or hip socket. So you're going to do your best to keep your knees from moving while you move your pelvis. This is a very small movement. Okay, so let's inhale, roll your marble to the nine o'clock on the right hip. Good, and exhale, move your marble to the three o'clock on the left. Good, and again, inhale, nine o'clock on the right. And exhale, three o'clock on the left. Good, and again, inhale, nine o'clock on the right. Good. And exhale, three o'clock on the left. And one more time, nine o'clock on the right. Excellent. And three o'clock on the left. Beautiful. And let's go back into neutral. All right, so back where the 12, the 6, the 9, and the 3 are flat across the top. Okay. We're going to do some little marches now and challenge our abdominal strength. Okay. So let's take a big breath in, and exhale, pull your navel to your spine, then curl your pelvis back under into 12 o'clock. Good. Let's go ahead, place your hands on your abdominals now. We're going to pick up a leg and lower a leg, keeping our pelvis in 12 o'clock, but as we do this, we do not want our tummies popping out to the ceiling, okay? So deep inhale. As you exhale, pull your tummy down, then pick up your right leg. Good. Did your belly pop out to the ceiling? You ladies did pretty good. How about you folks? Take a nice deep inhale and exhale. Put your right foot down. Keep your belly button in even tighter. Good. Deep inhale. Exhale. Contract your abdominals. Then pick up your left leg. Very nice. Deep inhale. Exhale, contract your abdominals and lower the left leg. So you want to keep your abdominals contracted the whole time, but you want to go exhale, make sure your abdominals are supporting you, and then pick up the leg. Deep inhale. Exhale, contract the abdominals, pick up the right leg. Inhale. Exhale, stabilize the pelvis, lower the right leg. Good, and again, inhale. Exhale, contract the abdominals, pick up the left leg. Inhale, exhale, contract the abdominals, lower the left leg. Very good, and rest, ladies. So let's take a look at Malia here real quick. She's gonna show us what we don't wanna do, all right? So go ahead, you can bring your arms down by your side and go back into neutral clock. Now, she's going to take a nice big inhale, and she'll show us a beautiful 12 o'clock. Exhale, pull the tummy down and in and hollow her navel. Now, as she lifts her legs, she's going to show us what happens if she lets her belly pop out to the ceiling. So inhale, exhale, pick up the right leg, and then her belly will pop out. This is not what we want to do, because the lower back will start to arch, and you can actually start to pull on your lower back and pull your lower back out if you're doing that incorrectly. So make sure that you keep your belly button down and in. Take a breath, 
and pull the tummy in more and bring it down. Good, very nice, thank you, Malia. All righty, wonderful, ladies. Let's go ahead now and reinforce our neutral pelvis just a little bit more. So roll your pelvis back into neutral clock. So 12 o'clock, six, nine, and three are flat across the top. And let's bring your hands on your navel again. And let's do 10 just abdominal contractions. And as you contract, feel your belly pull to your back and your back pull to your belly. So inhale, make your belly as big as you can make it. And exhale, contract it. Good. And again, inhale. We have to remember repetition is the mother of skill. Exhale, contract it. So sometimes we have to do the same thing over and over again until we get it. Inhale, make your belly big and fat. And exhale, make it nice and tiny. Also, just building strength in the abdominals takes a long time. Breathe in, let it go big and wide. And exhale, contract it. Good, let's just do one more nice big inhale. Let the belly push up as big as you can make it. Beautiful. And exhale, make it as small as possible. Good, and rest ladies. And now we're gonna move into some exercises that I call the magical minutes. Um, these movements are wonderful for stabilizing the spine as well as strengthening your neutral pelvis. So let's go ahead and say our prayers. Come on up, ladies. And you're gonna come forward and clasp your hands on your knees. Yep, just like this. Good. And you're gonna press your hips forward. And our goal is to get our hamstrings, our lower back, and our belly working all together to find our wonderful neutral pelvis, where our two hip bones and our pubic bone are flat facing down, okay? And as we're here, we're gonna press our upper middle back up to the ceiling and our shoulders down. This is also gonna work to strengthen a fancy muscle called the serratus anterior. Good, and lower. We're gonna lift up and lower down three times and then stay for 15 seconds, okay? Deep inhale. And exhale, lift, press the upper middle back to the ceiling, contract your hamstrings and your abdominals, and lower down. And exhale, lift, and lower down. And one more time, exhale, lift, and stay. Good, keeping the belly button in, feeling your ribs gliding down to your hips, your hamstrings pressing forward. So you're in a fantastic neutral pelvis. Good, press this just more forward, just more, a little more, a little more, good. And smile, this is fun. Good, and rest. Good, ladies. Let's go into the side arm magical minutes, and let's go ahead and face this way. So bring your left elbow underneath your shoulder. Good, and we're gonna be short lever here. So what we're trying to do is line up our knees with our hips again, and our shoulders and our head. So close the ribs back and you're gonna press the hamstrings forward. And before we even start, let's pull up out of our shoulder blade as much as we can. So Lani, drop down like a supermodel. Yes, we are not supermodels here. We are strong Pilates addicts. So pull up and out and show us your shoulder girdle stability. Beautiful. At the same time, we're still working on our neutral pelvis and stabilizing it. So up and down three times and then we'll stay for 15. Okay, inhale and exhale. Lift, as you lift up, you may need to press your hamstrings slightly forward and reach your head slightly back. Good, and lower down. And again, exhale, lift. Good, and press this back into my hand, your upper middle back, yeah. And lower down, and don't forget to smile, it's fun. Exhale, lift, very good. And stay for 15 seconds. So you're gonna feel the wonderful length out through the crown of your head and out through your knees. Imagine your clock now sitting right on your pelvis and you want your clock perfectly flat. Good, and lower down. And let's do a little mermaid stretch. Come up, grab your shins, reach your arm up overhead and just stretch sideways. 
Nice, ladies. And let's stay facing this direction, but flip your legs around the other side, and we'll do the other arm. Are we having fun back here, Eileen? Okay, good. Here we go. Line yourself up again. Knees, uh, hips, ribs, shoulders and head. Deep inhale, exhale, lift up side. Beautiful. And lower back down. And again, exhale, lift up, side. Keep pressing those hips forward and lower down. More smiling, it really helps. Exhale, lift. Good, and stay. Again, reaching your head long. Very nice. Finding your rib cage, connecting through your abdominals. Good, and rest. And grab onto your shins, lift up your arm, and go ahead and stretch to the other side. Good. Nice, ladies. All right, flip onto your bellies. And we're going to do fantastic magical minutes prone. Good. All right, let's bring both hands under your forehead. Squeeze your legs as tight together as you can. And now you're going to find your neutral pelvis lying down. So that means your clock has to be flat facing towards the ground. Your belly button has to be working, your hamstrings have to be working, and your low back has to be working. Here we go. Inhale, glide your shoulders down. And now as you exhale, lift your head and your hands up at the same time. As you do this, you're trying not to allow your shoulders to rise. And lower back down. And again, inhale, reach your shoulders down and around into the armpits, and exhale, lift, and lower down. And one more time, glide the shoulders down and exhale, wrap. Good, and we'll just stay for a few seconds for this one, because this one is one of the most fun magical minutes that there is and lower down. Moving into your legs, squeeze your inner thighs together, reach your toes, and exhale. Just hover your legs off the ground a quarter inch. Try not to let your clock tip, and lower down. And again, exhale, squeeze and lift, keeping the navel tight, and lower down. And one more time, exhale, squeeze and lift the legs. Make sure both glutes and hamstrings are working together. And lower down. Good. And go back into child's pose. Thank you so much for joining us. And we look forward to seeing you in our next lesson when we explore the spine. Upside Down Pilates is conveniently located in the heart of downtown Honolulu. We offer solo, duet, and trio lessons, post-rehab conditioning, small group equipment and mat-based lessons, comprehensive teacher trainings, and anatomy and biomechanics classes. All of our teachers are comprehensively trained by Lisa Orig and certified through the Pilates Method Alliance. Scheduling and payment is easily accessible at www.upsidedownpilates.com or call us toll-free at 1-888-751-6950.